Now this is a quite easy problem. So this says we have infinitely long buyer. So this buyer carries a current I. And there is a square loop. So this square loop has a side length A. And initially it, let us say this is placed at some distance. And this is moved with velocity V. So square loop and this buyer both are in the same plane. And this square loop is moved with velocity V away from the buyer. And let us say at some point of time this is at a distance. So this is the nearer end of the square is at a distance of X. We have to calculate, find the induced DMF in this buyer loop as a function of X. So what is my target? My target is to find xi as a function of x. So we want to find xi as a function of x. So how will you proceed for this part? Now let us say we define, we know xi is equals to minus d phi by dt. So if somehow I can calculate phi and then if I differentiate things are easy. So what is my target? My target is to calculate phi and phi is nothing but b dot ds if I can calculate b dot ds I can calculate each things now let us say proceed for this problem so we have an infinitely long buyer so this buyer is there and this carries current i and this loop is somewhere here so this is the loop you have are you getting and now I think this is not a straight one so let us make slightly a straight. So what I have to do is I have to wrap this one. Yeah. Now. So now it looks like a straight. Yeah. So now we have to find b dot ds. So phi. I am interested to find b dot ds. Due to this buyer, infinitely long buyer, magnetic field lines. What will be the magnetic field lines? So if this is going up, so magnetic field lines will run something like this. So this is the magnetic field lines running. So this will run something like this. So magnetic field lines are running something like this. Are you getting? This means magnetic field lines are going in. And this depends upon distance. So let us say if I take at a distance of this distance is x. Or I can say this distance is y why I am taking by will understand soon and this distance is by plus d by so I will have this distance is d by so what is the area of this elemental cross-sectional so area will be this height into this is the a so this is also a so this length is a so this length is given to you a and this length is also a so what is elemental area? So now I can write D as that is elemental area magnitude wise A into this length is A. So this is A, this is A. So this is A and this thickness is dy. So A into dy. So this is A into dy. What is magnetic field at this point? What is the magnetic field for this cross section? That is now I can write B is equals to infinite by R, mu naught I by 2 pi R in place of R I have by. Now what is the direction of B and what is the direction of DS? So B is inside and DS is again I have to find the direction of DS can be found only by using the lenses law and I am only interested in right now B dot DS magnitude so DS vector either will be in or it will be out. So magnitude by is so if I consider the magnitude of B dot DS it will be simply b into ds cos theta is 0 degree because area vector is in and b vector is also in or area vector will be outside so there are two possibilities in both cases either 0 degree or 180 degree so magnitude will be simply this magnitude is simply b into ds because if you have cos 0 again 1 cos pi again 1 so this is now i know phi so what is phi b dot ds b is mu naught i by 2 pi by so this is my b and dot ds dot ds is a into dy so if i this is basically d phi this is a small flux through this elemental area if i am interested in total flux what i have to do is i have to do integration are you getting or not so if i do integration for total flux 
this is 0 to 5 that is total flux and this side I have to integrate let us say initial thickness distance is x I have to wrap this side also so this part is not there yeah now it's okay now you see so this is x and the final length is a plus x so I have to integrate this one from x to a plus x so this is x to a plus x so if you integrate this one so what will happen so we will have this is phi is equals to mu naught is a constant i is a constant a is a constant 2 pi is another constant so I have to integrate x to a plus x simple and this is integration of dy divided by y and everybody knows integration of dy by y is ln by e. so phi is mu naught i by 2 pi into a and this is ln a plus x divided by x are you getting or not and now I have to write d phi by dt that is flux differentiation that will give you magnitude of xi so I am interested in what is the magnitude of induced EMF so I am interested in magnitude of induced EMF so this is mu naught i a divided by 2 pi and differentiation of log is log x is ln 1 by x so this becomes 1 by a plus x by x but then I have to differentiate this function again so let us do u by v so leave the denominator 1 and differentiation of is 1 minus this time leave the denominator now this time leave the numerator and differentiate the denominator and this divided by denominator and you have to write dx by dt also because x is also variable are you getting or not So if you are doing something like this, now you can have this value simply will have mu naught. These are easy problem basically mu naught i a and this divided by 2 pi and you will have x by a minus x. So this becomes x by a minus x perhaps x might cancel. So let us check. So this is x square this is minus of a. So this is minus of a divided by x square and dx by dt is nothing but velocity with velocity this loop is moving so if I cancel x and plug a here so I will have this is mu naught i e s square because this a and this a gets clubbed and this x x gets cancelled out so you will have in the denominator 2 pi x into a plus x and it will have a minus sign that does not have much meaning now minus sign if you write want to find exact value then you have to write minus d phi by dt that is the induced tmf but i am interested in magnitude of induced tmf so this will be mu naught i a square b divided by 2 pi x a plus x are you getting or not If somebody asks what is the direction of current, so what you will say? You see, if this is going this side, so flux is decreasing because B gets decreased. So if this loop is going this side with velocity V, flux is decreasing. So now if I apply Lenz's law, it will have current in such a way so that inside flux gets increased. And that is possible only if I have something like this. If I have current in this way, so this is the direction of current and then I will have only, are you getting or not? Yeah. So this is the direction of current if you have only something like this. In that case only the magnetic flux will increase from this loop. And this is obvious again by another principle, you see the force idea. These two loops, these two currents are in the same direction so they will attract they will try to attract so you are doing you are trying to move away that is you are trying to repel these two but they will try to attract these two that is the lenses law are you getting or not so what lenses law whatever the stress you have the system try to minimize the stress so what is the stress at this point a stress at this point is outward velocity 
so it will have a inward velocity that is you want to separate them you want to separate them but it wants to compress them it wants to attract them that is the meaning here 